check. Back in the building, another episode. Elephant in the room. Your boy C Six. Man like Dizzle, the comedian, is in the. That field. first part you're gonna keep in though. Why? Because it's a why. It is a why. It's, 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 it's not staying we're nowhere. Not, yeah. we're, we're, we're not gonna. You're gonna get need proof. You're gonna need proof for that. Yes. And today we got a very, 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 very special guest. No, it's not. It's a, it's a special guest. There's no varies in, in. He's a very special he's guest. Not, he's a, he's a, a guest. Okay. Special guest, but not very special. Why? Why is he not very special to you? Because he's not special to me. But to me, he's special. Why? Because you used to drive the bus. No, it's special because. You've got something in common. Let me explain something. He's, he's been I'm a death help. I'm going to explain That's something. Cavity. You used to both be managers, right. jobs worth, right. sack people. Right. You understand? All right, mate. Remember, yeah. you said you sack yeah, people, yeah. so we're going to get to that. Come right. on. Yeah, it's cool. You had your fun? You had your fun? Ain't fun. Now, I'm the reason I'm this guy is a special guest is because he's, he, he's very, very important to the culture. You understand? We're not. He, he, he represents the culture. He's put on a, a massive event that helps and represents our culture keeps us people close. can i say something and also music producer there's a lot to his story and he keeps london moving so to me he's a special person okay that is it, that is it. and that is it. hello um, my elephant us today we've got a guest on our show um he is somebody that is special in the community he does a lot for the community he picks up he puts on one of the biggest rave in England for the community apart from carnival but this rave is like um, a year to year and it, it's a sold out event he's put on festivals and the main thing is he's given back to the community in the sense of a lot of employees have worked it's not just him he's got a lot of people has you know eaten from his events should I say like whether they're selling food or even garments or any little thing that is you know can help the community he's he's been there so i have to give him his flowers and please welcome our guest he goes by the name of um <laughs> what, name again? <laughs> what, is, what is special guest name yeah, again not people call him tight pants okay. but me call him junior bus driver link up i'm junior innocent you know never guilty yet that is it so you just cuss your own self for that now, because no yard man's innocent. They say that. Yeah, you're the innocent. The man guilty of fuck. <laughs> just by calling himself innocent. I know, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's your yard man. Walking thing. around saying, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Me not lying. <laughs> While he's lying. Fuck you, know, Mr. Innocent. Why, and they want to, why are you innocent, bro? What, 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 you're not here on trial. This is the podcast, Elephant in the Room. I know, not but because I'm naive to a lot of things that's happening around, or, you know, I was brought up in church, and I still maintain that Christian principle. So that is why. That is it. So yeah. I consider serious because I've been to Bus Driver Link Up and you see when the girl in my dash out, it feels churchy. Yeah, because the pump pump that's a dash out and the girl just look naked and like, yeah, you see you? We can see you are Christian. <laughs> Being churchy. Yeah, yeah, man, we're really very churchy by my drink, my white rum. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yes, no, welcome to the show, welcome to the show. Um, bus Driver Link Up is a massive year-to-year -year dance. Um, so we're gonna talk about that a little later on, but we're just gonna just just bonks like now, man, and then mm -hmm. we'll get into bus driver link up and some other things to how you started and some of your music ventures and stuff. Cause when I said yeah, cause I, I didn't even know C was a was a music producer as well, you know. Yeah, man, you know that I'm also a dickhead because you're not even trying to talk. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm also a, 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 a comedy. That's what I said, Dick. Oh, yeah. so he's, he's, not, he's not a comedy yeah. promoter. See, Dick is like people laugh. You, you know? don't, brother. Yeah. Don't do that. Why is he not a comedy promoter? Could, one comedy show that make a comedy producer. I, I, I'm a Two. DJ. I'm a DJ. Two I play, I play that birthday party. <laughs> Two comedy show. Listen. Yeah. I play, don't try. Listen, I became a horse. Yeah. And he ain't bought me since. So, 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 so how dare you? Oh, yeah? So, oh, sorry, hold on. So, this is this is why. This is, it's always good to, when you got guests and we, we have a, a backstory. So, basically, you're saying that because this was quite a good, he's a better host than he is a comedian are you saying that you you started his hosting career and you're a better searcher than, for music than you are to be honest <laughs> i don't know if this is funny yeah because i don't like funny people mm. you understand know, i don't mm. like people that can you know don't you're gonna start beef with this thing because you're not trying to come with this cool cat thing you're not cool yeah, cat I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I, but um the reason why I got Junior, it's not just because of the bus driver, it's a, it's, yeah, he put me on, his first comedy show he put me on, and my first ever comedy show, he was there. 
Which, yeah, which, which one is that? The Don't one? worry about it. I mean, no, no, hold on. You know, he, I remember he seeing fairy. He, know, he knows me hold before on. you. And that's fine. But what I'm saying is... The oh, show, no, it seems... Hold on wait, a second. Wait, the wait, first wait, show wait. that I saw you at was one of your first shows. It was, was wearing it? black leather pants with a, with, a, with, a, um, with a little leather waistcoat. And I, and I thought, what, what did this brother have? Where, where, where was that? That was in Streatham. No, I so, you know what? That, that's long that's, after. Thank West you. Indian Thank comedy you. club. There's no way that could be long after. It was. It was so it? shit. There's no way that could have been long after. That had to yeah. be early in your career. You were shit. It was just that you're not. See, I don't care. This dude doesn't do you do your wonders yeah. because it's too bright. I can see the whole. I can see what you're saying before you even say it. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? West Indian culture club. Yeah, the West Indian yeah, culture club. In, uh, see, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. That was, it was. It was there. And yeah. and can you tell him that I got a standing ovation, please? Yeah, man. But it's. Don't do, that. Don't, don't do that. His don't jokes do that. was risky, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I said that you were that brave, you know. Cause now you know, but yeah. that but that style got me here. Yeah, yeah that's today. true. That's true. Risky and brave. That's Fierce, true. Un- but, you understand? Yeah, man. To the forefront. Yeah. But we loved it. I met that brother. Rah. Yeah. And him just. Well, I was sure. Remember, I didn't. I, that was my first, first. I didn't. I never. Knowing now, I showed with nervous. comedy clubs. He was, was nervous. I was nervous. I remember telling you, before, right before, you, 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 you were the comedian that was. I'm gonna be as rude as possible. No, yeah, to, no was to be funny. He was just talking about him, his real yeah. life. Yeah, okay. was his real life, yeah. his real experience. He yeah. was talking about. Yeah, okay. yeah. 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 it was yeah. really deep. I went in at twelve end. Yeah, yeah. don't you just there sitting, waiting no, for something? No, 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 no. I see a negative face. Honestly, honestly listen, you're a pony, bro. You're a pony. Listen, no, for now, you're a pony. Let's keep it real. Listen, listen, kids. No, you look at the, the good uh, part. It's the it's the buff part. That's oh, the buff. Oh, what, what they <laughs> no, the string, the string. You know the pom pom, the the used looking face. It's a string. Yeah, yeah, the string for now, pom pom. You know the pom pom hang down. It's the you got flappy. You got you're flap. the flaps. You got you're flap. a, you're you got the flap. Yeah, I'm a clip. Anyway, but listen. She'll, she'll feel something from me. You, you. But just shush and listen. But basically, <laughs> I I think that as a comedian, he's it's taken him a while to reach the level <laughs> no listen i'm not even cussing you, you bro. relax relax i know you no to reach the level of oh. other comedians because your style was really but you say you not use the word risky but i thought you were you told the line a bit and it, the uk weren't used to that there was a lot of clean cut comedian yeah used to say so when i said rude i was like you would go on the stage when i started seeing you yeah and the, the things you would talk about and the, the rawness they weren't used to it. So it was either you like him or you think he's... No, I remember one time you told me, louder man, you remember you told me on t- I mean, yeah. as a DJ, I think it was this DJ telling me to louder people then. You cuss them because you're not supposed to cuss people I wasn't cussing level. them like that. But I remember I was new, I was raw, I didn't know my yeah. craft like but that. But no, but even, okay. And see, so that's how the first time I see, so he did, but he's still not louder, but remember, you remember. I'm going to tell you stuff like that because ultimately, like, you can't come in South London and diss people because you might get fucked up. That's the first thing. Don't be coming here with your leather pants cussing people. We'll punch you up. That was the first reason. I was protecting you from getting punched up. But the second reason is, no, I do know longevity is you need the people on your side. You can run joke on them, you can cuss them, but don't go over the... Because you need the people to elevate you. Do you get what I'm saying? So you always can get onto the crowd, cuss. To the person that you're cussing, if they're laughing, you're good. If they're getting vexed, you've gone too far. Turn it back around. So, did you, you, know, did you, was you at the comedy show where the guy said, I've come all the way down? To yeah, at your show. The one in, in um, East. In East, yeah, in um, Wolfram Store. Was that a bit too You were. I had, brother, I had. I swear, I went. When they left, because the man brought his woman, and Dizzle was. They, there. they got up and left. They got up and left. I got off the. I tried to guilt trip me. Oh, come so far. Bro, you were rude, bro. I weren't rude. You were fucking rude. Because I had that joke similar times. No. And to bro, similar people, what and they liked was, it. What he did was, and then when the, when the man got up and was like, listen, you said, yeah, fuck, fuck off then. Like, yes. you can't do that. Because you, you're on the mic, you're the loudest. But then the crowd loved it. If the crowd didn't love it, then... Yeah, but to be honest, it's a comedy. I think some people take it personal. He did, because... because yeah, my, it's nothing to be personal. He didn't have to take it... Why did he take it so personal? Because you made it personal. How? You made it personal. How did I make it because personal? You, listen, I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> the, the people that were sitting... The man was sitting there with his woman. <laughs> and he was like, you know, you do the... T- How long have you been together? <laughs> then, I don't know, you just started... Getting personal about his appearance, and he's sitting there with his woman. No, right, he's sitting there with now his woman. you're fucking lying. You what, what did you say to him? You, see, now you, it was nothing. It wasn't a personal attack about his parents. That's or his appearance, or nothing to do with what it. What was it about then? Remember, I asked him like, how long he been with his missus? In ten years. <laughs> And I said, well, Oh, yeah, the same old Jai Pum Pum. No, I he said, What are you doing with this? What, the CM Pum Pum for 30 years? I never said, I never said, you did. I never said nothing. What did like you that. say? I said, The same player, I said, That's the same player, Oxtail. 
Yeah, that's like having one player. I said that's. I, 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 I said having one player. Yes, and then when he got vexed, yeah. when he got and vexed, I kept saying like blood, and the crowd was laughing. Yeah, but once he started getting vexed, you say it's not my fault. He's got the one dagger, dagger, pom pom, but tell you, that's when he was getting vexed. No, because he got vexed, so I started to. You know why I'm getting vexed? I'm guilty or something. That's why everybody was in the crowd was saying. Yeah, no, his name was his name was senior innocent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a junior innocent. That's what people were saying. Cause I, I, I was in. Remember, they might have been getting to that a mad breakup or a mad cheating thing. And you know, it was. They're awkward. on the date. They're on the awkward. date. They're on the fix it. Yes, yeah, I'll tell you. That is it. And then wife one busting. Yes, because see, as you said, yes, because he, he, he knows that he didn't yeah. have it for one. Pl- you get me? Yeah. It was that. It was well, personal to them. I they wrote their first. I just went. Yeah. Keep him all shut. Smile. Done, but it there was it's bait because I put I I I it was a sort of you say touch her nerve yeah touch yeah, that, definitely that, that, touch her nerve because the woman she was she was, she was happy to see her smiling yeah. she didn't go I hear you. it was him he felt away he didn't know when to stop yeah. though. He didn't know when to stop. And I, that, stopped, that, I stopped when he came. When he, left. When, 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 when he was out of sight. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. No, because he was in the yeah. honest. No, because he tried to be I, racist. I, I've been to comedy shows and I've seen where if a comedian see that. It touch a nerve in you and you get a bit jittery <laughs> trust me yeah that's you what get a target yeah well, that's like we smell blood it's like we smell blood yeah, yeah. you well, know it goes i've been a, listen i was a dj at the comedy at the comedy show i can't remember who it was but the, the the comedian must have tried to say something and tried to cuss me now this was early days i just turned off his mic i couldn't i, I couldn't be the victim of brother he was going in i think he i think He's, he gave me a song to play. He said, I say, he's, I play Michael Jackson when I come yeah. on. So I play Michael Jackson. Then he comes on. What the fuck is that? Yeah. Where's this? Where did you get this DJ? But that's a part of the act. Same, but, but, I'm, but I'm not a part of your act. Yeah, you, you, are, tell no, me, you, are. you tell me to put on Michael Jackson. Yeah, on purpose. And then cuss me. Yes. I just turn down the mic. That's what we do. Yes, we do. Yeah, because don't embarrass me. I embarrass you back. But then I learned not to do that because <laughs> obviously I took it personal. But tell me. Because if a man says to me, listen, I'm going to ask you to play a tune, then I'm going to. Then I can laugh it off. But you should know that's what we I do. I didn't know. It was one of my first comedy shows. <laughs> like, probably ne- I almost never got booked again. I had to turn off the mic, but who the fuck you talk to? Yeah, I, and I'm and them time there, I'm ready to fight. Yeah. Who are you trying to embarrass? Are you mad? But I would... <laughs> what? <laughs> that's why you can call this business. I'm all right now, I'm all right. You see, sometimes <laughs> when I'm at my bridging's barbershop, I'm a bridging them there. Yeah, because that's a muster into it. Yeah, I'm on them a rum and them something there. But I know them that talk me down. Yeah. Cause you're no, you like the mustard. So you wait, so you're one of the people that go to the barber shop but you don't need to? No, I go there for a haircut. The barber the barber yeah, is the I go there for a haircut. But I go there late. Okay. When they're chillaxing. Yeah, so you go on purpose just to get that haircut and drink some rum and then mustard. And it can, you know? Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's fun for me, it's not personal, but you can see sometimes someone wins, you know? But you see the man there when we know someone like it. They're the ones who get the most. I don't even look at them now, bro. Oh. Someone take it personal, bro. No, I never took one personal. You tried to muster me. You was drunk. The last bus driver link up, you was so drunk. You were drunk. The man, he, oh my God. He drank, he dash, I, I'm glad it was, it was me and not you, C6. Because yeah. <laughs> you know I've never seen him like that. That's why you got a pass, but I was mad. He was drunk. He was cussing cuss them, then he was just in, he was mad, he just yeah. he finished drink, he drank on me. What? I had to look for his bus the next day, right? <laughs> like, oh my god, I'm thinking, Junior, you piece of shit. And then, and then, and on top of it, mm-hmm. hearing to Major, forget my, that mother, and we say a Vauxhall marketing by it. Oh <laughs> my god, the Major said it on the mic as well, I'm thinking, yeah. I'm, But it's true though, he probably did, well maybe Wolfram Stone market, but either way, if it, I get it though, it's your clothes, you shouldn't wear up your clothes, we're fake or not. No, to be honest. Are you stupid? I'm not I, you, no. I think that was an accident, but you know. It wasn't a fucking accident. Yes? I could play it off. You look like, like the naive girl. Oh, it may be. What, no, your dad was a bummer clout drink. Bummer where's the drink. evidence? On my shirt. No, is, and is, and is, the other thing I had up, the shirt was cream, so you could see all the what drink on it. Uh, my Burberry shirt, you know? Oh my from, God. from Selfridges, you know? Okay, sorry, mate. No worries. I've never been to them places before. So. I know, you get your thing from AliExpress. That's why you, you get budget, me. Budget, budget, you know. Rude. That's what I'm saying, man, with their big things and that's that's. You understand? But, it's a bad but, but I but you get a pass because you've never been like I don't know what. But you get you was getting choose. No, now's your time to talk. What was it? Uh, you getting choose something there. I was so stressed. Whenever even three days. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. <laughs> you're not for now, though, isn't it? Yeah, listen, listen to this now. So I'm there now. At the event, everybody said, Junior, come have a drink. Mm. Then put everything in a mic cup. Mm. I remember when I eat for three days. Mm. So by the time you have my champagne on, go so. Yeah. Like that float. I'm just missus. I'm trying to take your champagne because everybody's trying to give you a drink. Yeah. And I'm saying, I'm there because I'm thinking, yeah. no, because I'm thinking, I know now he's like, take the drink from him. Get me? Mm. Someone has to take the reins because no one, mm. everybody's leaving him to his own devices. Yeah. They want him to. They want him to. Yeah, drink. but I'm saying, no, nah, man. I'm a friend still, so take the drink. But you get me because that's not Junior. Mm. Junior was gone. Remember, this is an event, you know. Mm. You're not supposed to be drunk at your own drunk, drunk event. Mm. This is like a, a, an event that is generating a lot of money and a lot of yeah. people. You're safety. supposed to be on your keys. You're supposed to be in the seat because if anything happened, it's Are Junior. You? Yeah. You're gonna get licked down by the car at a road at Junior. Yeah, yeah. You, you know how it goes, Junior. Serious. But you understand know what I'm saying? But listen, you know, we learn from every moment, you know. So, <laughs> this guy. for this event, it's water. Mm. Yeah, no, Nobody will pour <laughs> anything in my cup unless it, and I don't want no water from anybody yeah, either. Yeah, yeah. I have my own water. No, so, listen, when it's your event, you always yeah. got to be on, you always got to be on your point because you are, unless you have an event manager that yeah. takes full responsibility, yeah. you need to be the person that takes So let's quickly get into this then. So bus driver link up, when did it start? So it started in 2009. 2009 and what yeah. was the obviously based on what I'm just assuming you you was a bus driver and you just yeah. thought that you just get everyone together so guess what I tell you how it started yes please so coming up this year is a, if the 15th anniversary mm. okay so 2009 to 2024 as well I don't know don't touch shame I don't do much 35 then yeah. you were you're older than that I was gonna be 35 then and but I have a breakup with my ex-wife and thing and okay. I'm a birch and I say, yo bro, you keep the best parties for your kids. You keep the best party for your missus. But I've never seen you done anything for yourself here. You don't exist. Mm -hmm. And I said, general, you take it deep. I never think like that, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I said, do something for your third or fifth man. So I'm, I'm saying to myself, you know what? Everything I keep, I give away for free. So I buy two thousand pounds worth of drink mm. and give it away on top of food, blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Cause I like people to have a good time. So I say this time. Sounds a bit diddy ish. Yeah. No, 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 you know what you're Yeah, man. All right, cool, man. That's not there. Everybody. Hey, brother, hey, yo, 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 watch it, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. I kept my first event then. And to be honest, it was a bus driver link up. It was June of bus driver birthday bash. Okay. Mm -hmm. 35th, about 250 people had a good time. Feel good. Party had finished. When I walk out of the venue, me and I say, it's coming like a bus driver link up. Because so many bus drivers were there. Mm -hmm. See? Full in here, never keep it. Mm. People crucify me. Junior, how can it keep such a good party and not keeping it this year? Mm -hmm. Then, full in here after, I say, all right, then I'm going to keep it then. Yeah, this guy. Used to be a go ahead drive up Stockwell. Mm. Emma do him event and thing and I link him and say, bro, you know some want to do this. But my things are because both of us are bus drivers who could have team up and do it. Mm -hmm. But he was to take me serious. So he was doing his events and ignore me. And literally to be honest, but about three weeks before the event, I said if I don't do it now, I won't do it again. Mm -hmm. So my link kid, gangster kid. I'm going to give him props today. Kids say, yeah, man. And by the time I come out for the phone, the gangster can me hear my advertise it on the radio. So I forget fly, I forget everything together now. So literally in three weeks, I had a party with about 350 people. Mm -hmm. The venue could hold. So that's how it all started. And then when I realized that it was like that, I said, hey, you know what? 
I need to take this thing serious. So the following year, which was I think 2012, 2011 or 2012 or something, I went to Zanzibar in Lower Sydney. Oh yeah, Zanzibar, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Kirkdale. Kirkdale Road, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a big club. Big club. So I went for Sky Juice. Metro Media. Metro Media. See? And at about 800 people. Mm -hmm. And I said, wow. Oh. So the year after, again, same Sky Juice again. Mm. This time Sky Juice win World Clash and sitting, sitting in New York and thing. And Zanzibar had two rooms. Yeah, yeah. So to the amount of people that turn out, I had to open the second room and put DJs in. Mm -hmm. Because the main room could hold everybody. And that's when I realized that, listen, this thing is more than I think it could have become. Yeah, you understand. So, yes. quickly, the guy from Stockholm, he, did he try to fall back? <laughs> Important. So, you see, after that Sky Juice first one, mm. he said to me, yo, G, I'm ready for jumping. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I said, G, you know, you had the opportunity and yeah. you missed it. Yeah, yeah, because this could have been, you could have been a 50-50. Yeah, yeah, it's a mess, mm. so he missed the opportunity, you know. Yeah, yeah. That always happens. Yeah. That always happens. And you know, the funny thing is, yeah, I used to be on the buses years ago. And um, say like 2006, I put I had a bus driver link up down. So I called it bus driver link up in yeah. Camberwell. Mm -hmm. And we linked up with, um, I was working in Woolworth. We linked up with Camberwell, New Cross, yeah. Stockwell, yeah. Battersea Depot. And, yeah. and the dance was all right. I met 200 people. But listen, too much money in there. Because mm. I didn't know how to... Like, I've put on dances before, but because it was a bus driver link up dance, I didn't know how to get it out to the people there. And then um, I tried it the next year, I think it was a Christmas, we did it for a Christmas thing, and we did it at another bar in Campbell And the same problem again. A couple more people, but just bare man. Bare man, I follow you, yeah? Bare, yeah, basically. <laughs> bare man, and I Because it's bare bus drive, them time then. Bare man, you love still, man. Bare man, you show that dance, show your real colors. Bare man, I follow you. Come like you have something must set. On a podcast, you want to say something? Talk the truth, me out. Talk the truth. Set yourself. So Dizzle, Dizzle was there. <laughs> yeah, <for laughs> yeah. and he, he didn't drive the bus. He was there on his, yeah, his leather pants and his fucking. And his leather. Yeah, 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 that's, that's, that's alarming. That's and, alarming. Anyway, but the point is, the point is, you got to be a man coming your team. Brother, shut your mouth, man. Listen, listen. What it is, what I'm actually trying to say is this: I didn't do it to have a bus driver link up dance. I did it because you know sometimes we don't. You don't have nothing, you know. You, don't, you did to just, make just, money. Just, just, just a minute, man. Because you don't really have a lot. The Christmas parties that the company put on, they're not really designed for our kind of people. Yeah, so true. you put on something, and you kind of want, you know, you spend year in year out. You don't really get celebrated, so you put something on. And I'm just, I said all of that, not to say, ah, oh, I put on the dance. It's more to say, for you to use the bus driver link up, the the and your your core team, your core audience initially is bus drivers. And it, for it to turn out to what it is now, it's a staple dance in the scene. And, like, and irrespective if you, even if people, people that don't even take bus, yeah, is going but, to that dance. But, but that's a testament to the to the rave. Yeah, to be that's fair, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But to be honest, you know, like one thing when I went when I started driving buses in mm. 2006, mm. I was looking at some of the guys and I realized that these people' life is dead, man. Hundred. I see guys coming at work 3 a.m. But they're not meant to start until maybe six. They're looking for somebody to blow out a duty so they can get the duty. Yeah, swap a duty. Yeah, you know. And if nobody blow out, they have to stay there until their duty. I see people that killing the rest days to make the money, but no life. I remember this guy. That was C6. Died. Young. Could be. And was. I'm saying, listen, life is more than this one because... Holiday is a part of life, it's fun, it's memories. Going out, socializing and having a bit of fun letting your hair down is a bit of fun. And I wanted to see people in that social setting, especially the drivers. Yeah. And also remember, a bus driver, his wife might be a teacher, a carer, a social worker, whatever carrier she is. Mm -hmm. And she'll tell her friends, you know? So that's all this event involved where it's not only a bus driver's event, it's now people's it's a people's event. event. Yeah. yeah. And you know what you were saying? Listen, bus drivers here yeah, typically have 
if you're a bus driver, you your social life is non-existent. Because yeah, if you're on the early shift and you start at three o'clock, mm -hmm. that means for you to successfully start work at three o'clock every day, mm -hmm. you got to go to bed at seven. Yes, yeah. Sir. Like, or six sometimes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then you're home, but you finish at 11, 12, you just want to sleep all day. Yeah. Or if you're doing a late shift, you just typically have no life. Yeah, true. So you, you, and you do find, and it's a job that people stick in. Yeah. I, when I, I started driving in 2002, and there was a brother, when I went out on my first drive, you, you got to go with someone more experienced. And the brother had been driving for maybe 10 years before I started. About a month ago, I see him driving the same route. Mm -hmm. That's 22 years later, bro. Yeah, and, and that's 32 years. That's 32 years for him. Yeah. Same route up yeah. and down. You know what I'm saying? But and I, I had fun as a young bus driver because it was just, I worked for an unruly company. And the man then was there. We had fun, chat up, yeah. It was, we, we turned it into what we're not supposed to turn it into. Yeah. That's the only way we could have fun. I had the opportunity to drive the buses. But we can't even drive a car. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you have a license? Be honest. No, when, can we have a conversation where we're not listening to each other? Where I'm going to be serious. Right, I'll try. Go on. So go on. You had an opportunity to drive the bus. Fucking sitting there, go like, oh, you yeah, used to like both of you. Like, like, was it that's anything good that you got? It there? is good. Oh, you used to you... drive the bus, and then my room, I used to get. A yeah. Apple. All right. So hold on a second. You hold on a second. Asshole. Hold on a second. Yes. No one rated the bus. I would walk past the bus driver and say, "Fuck off, drive the bus." Put so on. You was that guy. Drive Benson. Yeah, it's no problem. That's no problem. The thing is, there's not. The thing is, there's, the thing is there's, it's a respectable job. It's not, bro. You've never ever in your life been employed. <laughs> You're a failed weed seller. <laughs> you know the man that would buy buy the weed, buy an ounce of weed, and, and by the time he's selling this first, it's rotten, <laughs> rotten, mash up, brock. You're a fake. You're one of them bus drivers. We you know when you see it, the, you go and you see the fucking. They try to go over the low bridge and the bus stuck. <laughs> And you think, where's the driver? You see, six. Why them ten? Forgot that rule ten. Well, you see, you see, you're that's you. You know what it is. I you. promise you. I you're promise you. Bus if you wasn't, if you wasn't as like funny, yeah, and I mean in all senses of the word funny, yeah, <laughs> your career. This is the only thing saving you because you see, if you never had this comedy, yeah. you'd be one of these people starting life at fifty. You know when he's just take, retaking his GCSEs, trying to get a nice job. School. Yeah, nice school. <laughs> Working it. You see him stacking shelves and you're lucky that you're funny. So, so you're taking it personal because I'm talking about the bills on the bus go <laughs> round and round. You fucking asshole. They can't know you All know. day listen, long. Listen, listen, I'm going to tell you, you this. You know that song, don't you? If you don't know that song, the bus man, you're eating. I don't really know that Let's hear my answer. Let's hear my answer. Bus man's anthem, the bills on the bus yeah, go round. Yeah, some bus drivers, yeah, that make a good life out of bus driving mm. in terms of even investment, mm. property. You're the only one I know. Pro I'm going to tell you about people I know. That's the people you know. Three, four, four five people know. You. Blah, blah, blah. Mm. You know, they do things, man. So, listen, it's all you make use of your circumstances. Were well, you one of them bus drivers? Cause the black, one of them black bus drivers were here, yeah, well greased up and big chaps on your hand. And <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> I mean, a typical bus driver. <laughs> You want to damn it? You was. No, man, I you don't like a man. I wouldn't even go in your bus. To be fair, you don't look like a man that I would trust driving a bus. <laughs> Probably the little low ones. <laughs> just about. You know what it is. You both don't look like a double decker. You know what it is. You know what it is. You both don't look like a You know what it is. You see, you see the buses. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't know so much now. I haven't. I left the buses in twenty twelve. Yeah, but it used to be a job for life. Yeah, the man then would get that job, and you 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 could. You can earn decent money. You, That's get like paid, postman. you get paid weekly. You could people would buy houses. There was a pe people were doing well from driving the bus. Yeah, man. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And if you were on the old system, it's yeah. even better. You, hey, listen, the, the money was good. Yeah. Once the the, the the business changed and they started yeah. to become really like a business, like a business, because before when it was London Transport, I didn't work for London Transport. When it was London Transport, it was job for life. Yeah. Once it became business. Everybody was tendering for routes, things started to happen, companies were coming and they wanted to get rid of the senior drivers because of the rate you're on. Yeah, yeah. So if you put them, fire you. Do you understand? So the system started to change. So I don't know how much of a good career it is now. I don't know. But I'm saying historically, the, like it was a it was a good job. And enough of our elders, yeah, that that job is the reason why certain man's granddad have got but stick up in, you know that's happening in a lot of companies. Cause my Bridget, he used to work same like mm. work for Royal Mail for like thirty two years, mm. like proper law got it on that old pay system mm. and rare, rare. The new system come in now. 
he put me, it was a silent pop. <laughs> and him sacking. <laughs> yeah, because you have to realise. I found him yesterday talking about his job centre. Yeah, no, you have to realise. 32 years ago. You have to realise, yeah. You're mad about it. I'm not doing 32 years ago. Once, once, you you have you have a, once you're in a system, yeah, where you become, where you become too expensive for the system, yeah. you become a target. Yeah, and if you, don't realize this, if you don't realise the shift, yeah. yeah, then you're gonna be you're gonna get. Yeah, but he's in it because I would have realised the shift. You know when some no, no, sometimes no. Yeah, you got you've got to jump. Sometimes you got to jump before you're pushed, it, man. No, but if he just did, if he just if he just played, if he didn't, there's yeah, nothing. I tell you what he did. I tell you what he did, and I don't even know who you're talking about. Yeah. But I tell you exactly what he because this happened to all the the drivers and stuff. You live in your comfortability. Yeah, you and know you've it, been able to take the piss yeah. historically. And you've got the union behind. Yeah, him. you could take the piss historically. Yeah. The union was. And, you're, and you're, you think you're fair? Yeah, 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 yeah. You think you got all of that, but you see the new system. Yeah, you, you don't. That it's not on your side. A positive. It's not on your side. So even like comedians, you know, like old, you could say what you like now. Yeah. Say certain things, no, you you'll be cancelled tomorrow. Yeah. Like if you watch like an Eddie Murphy thing. Oh you God, be raw. You know, he, you he, get cancelled. He, he could never say that no. these things today. So you got to move with the times. You can't be too comfortable. And this is a lesson for everyone in whatever you're doing in life. Don't True. get too comfortable. True. And as you said, investments. You you got you got you're making a good living. You get good wages. Yeah. You put your money to use. Because listen, listen, what I'm, I'm gonna tell people. You see, the bank like to see that you have something coming in every week, every mm. four weeks or whatever mm. it is. And as long as you manage your expense mm. with your income and keep your credit good mm. you lose a man bigger life <laughs> and see what but see what what with you now you know some people as people say why what's driver link up you know they'll count your numbers and say why the moment money and this for very but the reason why i can't say that with you because the reason why your events them don't flop because you always spend every year you're sending for somebody even when you don't have to yeah, you're sending for the artist you're keeping it like you have the all white Cause you used to do the comedy shows, then now you do the all white, which yeah, is yeah, yeah, successful. That's, yeah, that's and that's like for the younger <laughs> crew, and you still cater for your older crew where you're bringing an older DJ. You yes, you yes. make it see that this is from the older crowd. That the young yeah. people aren't coming, can yes, come. Yes. But this one is designated for, and you always yes. selling for somebody that's old school or this school. And yes. so yes. someone's always benefiting every year yes. so, and having so, a flight. Even the travel service yeah. are benefiting from you to be so there. So listen, many people would say that, yo, bro, you're wasting your money selling for a DJ because. Yeah. Well, they, but listen, for me, if I'm seeing these DJs every day, mm -hmm. round robin, cookout, yeah. name it. Dollars versus Barbies and them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Or the journey. Why am I going to pay that money for to come to this event? Yeah, yeah. When <laughs> tomorrow night I yeah. see them up. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So listen, for me, I'm trying to bring a bit of exclusive, exclusive whatever. Yeah. You know, Are you gonna be my sky juice? Exclusivity, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, at that moment, I'm gonna yeah. turn up this, you know. <laughs> anyway, sky juice, yeah. staple, you know, and people love him and rate him, and you know, but guess what? He's gonna come back. Stone Love. But we we'll give him a lick of break. What about Stone Love? Stone Love is gonna be at the next one, and we have. Um, it's gonna be the next, the next one? Yeah. Okay. And we have Steel Bash. Which, which one from Stone Love? Well, Stone Love, you don't know where you're getting, you know, but guess yeah. what? Whatever you, you get from Stone Love. Stone Love them are come deliver, I'm sure that. Yeah, yeah. Get Rory that beat. No, Rory's not in Stone Love. Don't get it twisted. Rory Rory Stone Love is not Stone Love. Yeah. Rory is separate. How you know Rory? Rory is Stone Love. No, 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 no. Now he's separate. No. Yes, yeah, so you can't now get Now he's separate. Yeah, yeah, so you yeah, say get Rory, he's talking. I've been separate for about ten years. I but this is news to me. No, but he goes but he calls himself Rory Stone Love. Because obviously he's a furniture of Stone Love. Yeah, yes. but he's not Stone Love. I went to I went to the um, best of the best and they said they got Stone Love and they got Base Odyssey mm. and then they had Base Odyssey and then Rory I said this is not Stone Love bro. yeah so this is what I'm saying Stone Love Rory Stone Love though no, it's not bro it's not so, this is what I'm I saying I don't get that I don't get he it he used to listen he used to be Stone Love um, Weepo Rory. Rory yeah Weepo yeah. 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 yeah yeah done yeah. them cheap bro yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. so yeah. he's gone now. so yeah yeah he's gone so. He's gone, but because he was furniture, he's, yeah, yeah, he's kept the name. Yeah. So it's a bit like Heartless. And if you book Bushkin, you, and you get Funny and Bushkin, but you could book Mighty Mo separate, but it's still Heartless. Yeah. But they're not together. Separate. Yeah. You know I was like, I then like, Chris Goldfinger used to be Asher World. Yeah, so. It's but, now it's just Goldfinger. Yeah, yeah but that's, that's his sound. Yeah, so, Asher was it, so he's still so, so, but, but he was, but. Rory, so was, get... Rory was a selector of Stone Love. Okay. So now he's left the sound. But the, but the, that's thing, you know. the thing is, why Rory believe 
I believe could keep the name Stone Love. He brought Stone Love to prominence with his unique style mm. of talking, yeah, yeah, delivering. Mm. And remember, when Rory came about, every DJ wanted to sound like Rory. Mm -hmm. So it was popular. influential. Okay, mm. I get you. Yeah. So, so you know. Yeah, but so so what you're gonna get? But Stone Love is definitely there. Yeah. No, listen. You know, I don't do fake. I don't do. False promotion. Oh, this is your clothes, I get you. So, um, yeah, so this is, this is. <laughs> you know what I <laughs> Don't worry, anyway, man. We don't matter what matter, but you understand. And you know what? To be honest, I, to be honest listen, I'm, I'm going to keep it real. Listen, I've been to these dances, and I would say 50% of the people in it is wearing fake clothes. No, you're, you're rude. That's, that, that's definitely rude. That's, you can't say that. It's 70 to 80. Okay. <laughs> Bro, listen, I know that the but people there. 70 to 80. 90% of them are wearing their own clothes. So I don't know where they get it from, but they're wearing their own clothes. I don't think they're borrowing clothes from them. You know? No, but what, the thing is, if we if you put the emphasis on it being real or fake, it don't matter. The point is, you just put, put, it's your clothes, as you say. It's, if, you know, it's, it's not, it's not. I've never something. told anyone to go Harrods. I've never told anyone to go Selfridges. All I tell people to do is attire properly, because guess what? You see, when they accessorize a the thing, a man has to know where it come from. See there. And as I'm, you look clean, you look neat, and you're up to the time, you see me? And can you tell us about your health journey? Can I see you in the gym now? What's, what's that all about? Is it for health reasons or are you just so, want? So listen, you, you, know, know, you know, you get diagnosed with something, you want to said to me, said, bro, you are dead. 23 years <laughs> coming to this surgery, no high blood pressure, no diabetes, no high cholesterol, what you do? I said, brother, I'm going to have a team of the people that accept smoke. But well, only thing I'm gonna try for exercise, but I take it a bit more. You understand? Because guess what? When you're getting older, to be honest, don't think everything is gonna be the same. Mm -hmm. I have so many friends with diabetes, mm -hmm. which is a silent killer. Yeah. You know? I named it. High blood pressure also is a mm -hmm. silent killer. So for me to be going 50 and men have that is a blessing, but also I start looking at my diet. Mm -hmm. You know, but I have fun doing exercise. I used to play football, but my knees them not good again. So that's not that's that, you don't even have to tell nobody that. We can look on your knees and know say yeah. that cannot that can't even play a hopscotch. That can't be nothing. Okay. But, <laughs> yeah. but back to what I was saying with your event. So now what I was saying back to your event. Well, big up, big up on, on the health journey because he he didn't wait for something to go wrong before. Yeah. He, he said, you know what. I've, yeah, I've, I've got this far and I'm good. You know what? For me to maintain this, yes, man. Then so I had to wait till these chances couldn't fit him. So you done a good thing. But you was mampy more than anyone. If, Why are you saying that? You know, no, no, hold on, hold on. No, it's, clear, it's clear to see. Hold no, on, no, 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 let's keep it real. It's clear to see. It's not a customer. It's clear to see. No, listen. It's clear between me and you. Bro, can no, I wait a second. It's clear to see. We've all had to be on the health journey. Yeah, because yeah, and, and I respect you for going on your health journey. So you're, we're gonna exclude you because you, you didn't even wait for things to mash up. Now I went on your health journey, but you, bro, bro, listen, you know you were diagnosed with everything, innit? <laughs> you know that, innit? Anyway, Junior, as I was gonna say again, yeah, when I say like, don't watch like people watch. Oh, they making this money, but as I said, your outgoal is, is astronomical. You got what I'm dealing with. Serious, man. The, I see. You remember, you, as I said, you're sending for these top DJs. You got to put them in in a hotel. The the event that you take us to, because I've I've been to that 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 place there, and some people try to book that event. You've seen it. City Pavilion. City Pavilion. They try. Some people try to book it. Some when I hear City Pavilion, I book one, mm. but it's a little side piece. The, the, yeah. the I've two, been to a couple of two events, side pieces, and and you you definitely give it the the you give the venue. You do justice to the venue. Trust so me. it's like a it's like a, a blank canvas that you can do a lot. And then, look at look at you see. Remember, that? Sorry, let me finish. Yeah. Give me flowers. You could do, do yours. Yeah, but when you go there, it's a it's a whole experience because it's, mm. it's like you know you go in and it's like it's like amazing. It's white. It's, it's and plus everybody's in white, looking good, and it's got its own separate car park, and it's just the whole atmosphere of even going the outside the people. Them, you created a good atmosphere, and it's a fun fun atmosphere. Not like you know certain events. Is, you, Touch wood or touch these things. There's no trouble like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And so everybody come on, on a good time. Yeah, you get what I'm dealing with, and, it's, and and everybody's looking forward. It's like everybody's looking forward to now. Not calling other people. So when is when is it? When is the next event? So the next event will be Saturday, November twenty third. What's that? Saturday, Saturday or Saturday? Saturday. 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 Yeah, Cause I don't know what that day. I'm a seminar listener, so don't worry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not, like, I thought Elephant Man was a. Saturday. 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 Satur
that's how it's about. Like, what day is that? I mean, the seven days of the motherfucking week. Nigga, can we have eight? Saturday, buddy. It's Saturday. Yeah, yeah. November 20th. You know, you could never go anywhere in the world and be there with the Yardi Tesla. Because that day, yeah, certificate and it's Saturday. Saturday. And then you're alright. And it's a little coffee, like, Saturday. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's Saturday the 23rd. Pro Jamaican. Saturday the 23rd, he said, yeah? Yeah. Of November. Yeah, the 23rd, if you want to call it. Cool. Saturday the twenty first. So listen. <laughs> so obviously, you know we've got our we got our elephant uh, yeah. fans who, who love the show, tune into the show every week. Yes. Now, I want to encourage everyone to book your ticket. Where would they get a ticket from? So online, Eventbrite. Eventbrite. And then we have many outlets. You can contact me, Diesel. You know the host. Anybody, you know. So anyone on the lineup or anything is. Yeah. They've all got tickets. Any yes. any barber shops, any yeah. so we have like um Coleman Fashion over in Tottenham. Yeah. We have um Red Cup Kingpin, mm -hmm. um Sh Look Sharp, mm -hmm. Aircut, mm -hmm. Air Air Studio. That's Tottenham. You have um listen, it's too many to But it's not but okay, Alice. Men, okay, men, so men. cool. So what now we're gonna want. I want a couple of the elephants to be able to get a free ticket. So can we do a competition or something? Yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. we'll think of something. We'll we'll get. So if you stay to the end, we're yeah. gonna do it for the patrons. So yeah. this will be right down to the end of the episode. Just before we've done the episode, yes. We we'll give a couple of the elephants an opportunity to yes, man. um win a, win a free ticket to go down to. Well, the just say them kill out some elephants. Man. So which elephant? Can I say the elephant? Them a great avoc. So. So which elephant is in this room? Yeah, that man. Okay. What? So the reason we call it elephant in the room is because you know um, the idea is there's so much topics that are surrounding us. So obviously, how me and Dizzle ended up being in a podcast together, but there was a lot surrounding it, and that was the elephant in the room. The elephant is in the room is something that people like to avoid. It's the conversation that people want to avoid, isn't it? Usually, true, true. so we're in the room and you see there's like a, a naked woman over there and no one ain't talking about the naked woman but everyone knows she's there so that's the elephant in the room so yeah. should we address it or not so this is that's the idea of it so because of the whole talk and cheese thing we initially thought yeah, well let's just never address the elephant in the room and that's how it started plus when we thought about doing it this was the size of an elephant and but he's strong don't fat shame people and you were the size of an elephant but you've done well you've done you well you elephants why, why me and him? Bro, don't do that. Don't do that. Just, yeah, well, don't well, do that. Well, why well, would you do well, that? Well, 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 why you take? Because me, I said I want some injection rest in other people. Man, anyway, are you, <laughs> <laughs> are you ready for the dilemma? Are you ready for the dilemma? Well, yeah. Hi, Mandem. This is a mad one. It's my 35th birthday soon. My partner offered to get me a prostitute just once so she can teach me what to do in the bedroom as I do not satisfy her. And this may just save our relationship. She's, she needs a good, she said she needs good thing. I asked her if she's serious. She said yes. How do I respond to this? That's serious, you know. You know what, yeah? That one is serious. Whew. I feel like, I feel eloquent. like, I feel like she is approached this whole, this whole thing wrong. Mm -hmm. If he's not satisfying, if she's not satisfied, if he's not satisfying her and that is how she's telling him, mm -hmm. then they've got communication issues. So what the, the, what's the prostitute going to do? You know, you know, that, that went over your head. What the fuck is the prostitute going to do? The prostitute is probably just wanting to so he can, he can break out. He might be too, he might be too soft. You know, like, he might, you know when you really respect your woman, he might not, the flower. he might not, he might not. He might be the flower. The flower, the, 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 Pushes the arm or that don't sound. I don't know. Box are in our face. Yeah. Chile, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in our order, out, order, all in our mouth. That's so you don't sound like you're a professional with this. I'm, I'm kind of. No, that's what I agree from it. But I feel like if, if she's un, if she's unsatisfied. <laughs> Mister Anderson, what? what? <laughs> no, we used to watch porn. Remember, we watch a porn movie. Yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard it was more like a horror movie. It is. 
Just been never anyway, been. Anyway, don't <laughs> try to deviate from the fucking. <laughs> no, I feel like I feel like to be honest, as I said, if that is the way she's approaching this conversation, I think she's dead wrong. It's dead yeah. wrong. Really? Because if he's not satisfying her, they need to have a conversation. Because I do think when you have when you've got your partner, you should you should talk to you and say communicate and sexual communication. Mm. Because what you did with Sharon might not work with the next girl. So do you, so because I could see you being a man that has sex and just trying to be the Mr. Cool in their ears. Remember, bro, listen. See, so I'm saying, yo, one woman for yeah, 15 years. Yo, yeah, so, yeah. but we love her in her 15 different ways. Jeez, get yeah, that's, that's, that's the proper so, lyrics. Add a way there, understand? Do you know what I'm saying? Be the way to Saturday night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, he, he, the thing is, he, 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 if he's got his woman for 15 years yeah. and they're good, so what he's, you, clearly, what, what, he's clearly doing something. What 15 right. different things do you do, my G? What 15 oh, different things? Not really. No, you're going to have to really. Yeah, you're going to have to. Name three. I don't know the thing. I don't know the thing. That's what I'm asking. I'm surprised that I'm saying we. With what? The same one gift. Nah, man. <laughs> Brother, listen. You think about no, it. No, I'm talking to him. Don't years. try to no, hold on. No, 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 listen. Don't try to be listen, listen, Mr. Listen, listen. No, I want you to... You're trying to be Captain Saver Hole right so now. So who's a hole? Him. <laughs> Bro, he said he, was, he said he was married before. <laughs> yeah. Before he married. No, no, he's he was married, married before. Very and person. now he's been with his woman for Yeah, and I've made him say she's a beautiful... So, so that's so. cool. But my point is, he clearly has the ability to have long-term relationships. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that's so, what I'm saying. So, 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 but what I'm saying, saying so is, you don't understand. Rate him. You no, don't understand. I'm, him. I'm giving him his flowers. His room be, and he knows that he's punching a bit of his weight and he would never get a woman like that again. So he's a, I rate him. Yeah. He knows his leg. Okay, cool. But do you, But what I'm saying, what's your knowledge his, relationship? Why are you want to ask me No, the reason I'm asking you this is because you can't identify with, with, the, with you, the scenario. What do you identify as? About I can't identify with What do you identify as? A poor soul? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what can I identify? Uh, yes. But ask me my personal business. But I'm just saying, because you, you know my business. You, you know I've been in every relationship for six years, but I haven't told people this. On, on, on. You haven't told anybody, not even her. Not even yourself. I said six years. Six years. Six years, you fucking ass white. Six years. You liar. Yeah, <laughs> bro. <Probably. laughs> yeah. That was six years, three months. years ago. So wait, is it not? Is that just a story? You know, remember, please, when you go online, work with the light. So it's supposed to be nine years now. I've been in a relationship for six years. Uh -huh. Okay, what year? But I just don't. Okay, cool. I don't. I, oh, I, 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 you know, media. and I respect that. What year did it start? Six years ago. Then what year was it? The six year. The year. Any year that six years ago was was that was the clock year. Don't hate on me because we're all everyone's here is married and you you're still fucking five finger Johnny. <laughs> I don't know why I made the sound effects. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you this yes. I, I feel like when you can when you can have a relationship and hold and have a successful relationship for them kind of you years, might, you can say them numbers you. there, yeah. I respect that. Yeah, because you you're, you're, what's your top what's, you know your, what's, you know what's your highest number? Never got never got five see them. Once I find myself I see them. Once I find myself I see them. Then you know I'm good. June fifteenth gone. Yeah. My parents celebrated fiftieth. Wedding anniversary. Ross Clark. I mean, I said, general. That's good. Not back in them days, the relationship. Hold on. September just gone, yeah? June. June just gone. 15th of June. How long your parents? And you know the funniest thing? They were married. They were separate, isn't it? They were separate now. You know the funniest thing? I said, general. I thought they were both going to be Jamaican. I said, you know what I'm saying? That must be. That must be a history in our family. Because, you know. 50 days was the longest back in the. Down. I don't know, see, but it's something where it's celebrated, you know. Of course it is, hundred percent. But you know what that sounds like, yeah? That sounds like, cause you're fifty, you're you're gonna be fifty soon, isn't it? Yeah. It's fifty. So, oh, don't try to. No, no. Listen, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. They they they, they, they come together to and they create a family. And oh, they, his age. I thought it's his relationship. He's, he's, no, his age. No, he's over fifty. Don't trust me. Yeah, so that, that, think about it. They, oh, they've married, they've got their they child, they've got their family, and they've just gone through their relationship. So fifty years. So look at. Um, so I was maybe conceived like maybe about five months before they got married or something. I was eating the cake in the belly and stuff like Take that. Take a shotgun so that, ready. Eh? Take a shotgun ready. See, but so, so, so that, that, that. You know what that means? You know when, you know, so back in the day. Yeah, we don't know what that means. Like, so yeah. listen, just calm down, mate. You see now, <laughs> the, the, back in the day, there was a lot more morals than there is now. Yeah. So having a you out of wedlock is not. So it's no, not. It's not going to work. Listen, so they have a shotgun. Ready. So when they no, find out they're pregnant, listen. they get married. No, no, Usually, no, that's no, what no, they call no, a shotgun. No, no, my father, my, my, my mother had two kids before. Okay. So one before my dad. Yeah. Then 
my sis my next sister that was before me and then me so okay I don't, maybe they were encouraged to get married. Maybe it was like, you know. Oh, you was the one that bought the They felt the maybe you was your. I mean, the first boy, so maybe, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but it's a man said, still, whatever it is. But the union is good yeah, and it's so, happy. Listen, but, and, and, and they, I learned a lot from them that, listen, being together for uh, more than 50 years, but married for 50 years, anybody thinks a marriage a fairy tale, a joke. Mm. It come with what if or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give and take, ups and down. Sometimes I feel like if I walk away. Yeah, no, but you've been there. Because I say 15 years, it's not going to be a walk in the park. No, it's done, it's done. You understand what I'm saying? Two of them years will be, could have been turmoil. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you stuck at it. And that's Many the thing. Many times, man. See, see, see. You don't know what I'm saying. You don't know what I'm saying. Yeah. Just keep it real, you know? No, I'm, I'm keeping it real. And it's true. I, no, it's true. It's, I, we learn off of you, man, like, I say C6 then. Because you get me? Because he's been in relationships and he's, they haven't worked. Like, longest has been like three years. Yeah. So you... Are you, you mad? Don't, <laughs> brother, don't. Listen, I'll tell you something. <laughs> I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. Don't play. I, I, I'm always going to tell you this. Yeah? I've been in two long-term relationships. But my, my first relationship was a marriage. Okay. And I had my three children with her. We don't play with that. How many years have you been? I was together for 13 years. I, and I respect that, so we're not playing no games with that. So how long, how long the, the longest wedding and the longest relationship? Thirteen years. But I'm thirteen years. And you're holding on to that. That's thirteen years. You, bro, you're holding on to that, bro. You, you're holding on to that. You're not committed to nothing. That's like a, that's you're like not committed to nothing for thirteen years. You're not like, no, no, no. You're like you're making hits on the '70s and you're kid. And bro, everyone, what have you committed you, to? What have you committed to in your in, life? In 2015, you're still performing with that What have you committed to in your life? My weed. And even that shit. <laughs> even that, I've seen the weed you smoke. Some little dega dega weed. Not the little idiot weed. Bro, you don't commit to nothing. No job. The people them not even see. Can I say something to you? What, what, Why did you take my, me talking about your relationship and then now you Because I hate you. No, you <laughs> fucking hate you. That's why. So you see, when you talk about me, me get mad. You see, if somebody else said it, I'd be like, yeah, now nah, I hate you still. I'm living off of it. I'm living in the past. Hey, boy, stop living in the past. But when you say it, I just want to smash your house in. I just want to smash your house in. And I respect you yeah. for your That's why we're not in your house. Because <laughs> you're, you're sick of me wanting to smash your house in. <laughs> so what were we saying about that one then? Yeah, um, she should have... She should have Loud the prostitute thing, man. Loud that, man. Just just have better communication during sex, man. Loud that, man. So yeah, one more. I reckon yeah, I'm going to do this one because it's the last one. Yeah, because we've got to go because right now, because it's one of you two's breath that I'm smelling. I don't know who it's it is. It's your breath, bro. But I know it's, it's one of you. It's coming from that direction. It's more like, it's more like batty and toes. It's more like, it's more like, it's like someone's mic. eating batty and toes at the same time. It's funny how quick you can identify it though, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I identify that one of you two. I'm going to say, 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 say no names. So the, the ones who are talking more, like, talk more because that's, go on. So hold on, before we before we read this dilemma, tell us a little bit about your music production. Oh okay. yeah, sorry, yeah. Okay, so listen, um before <coughs> I ever got into music production, I used to be a DJ. But I said Mr. Go Studio, I may hear some of them and I may hear my advice. I said, advice you need a whole lot more development. When you say DJ, what do you mean DJ? Um, you should just say, yeah. give us a lot. You, you can't, no, you can't do that and not give us a, a freestyle. No, yeah, 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 yeah. No, you, no, no, you have to, because that's why you got a line up. You can't see you come yeah, with a big claim there. Freestyle. That's a big claim, yo, me also. You must have a lyrics. But without a lyrics, I'm not. No, no, no. You listen, if you used to be a DJ, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that song. I did record this one for Junior Reed, yeah? Yeah. But back in the time, I tell you this, people sound like people, the teeth of everybody's style. Yeah. Yeah? So you want to hear it? Yeah, it's obviously it. gone. And I'm not going to lie. Right. Yeah. That's it. Me have a gun in me and Josie. Murder Abu on the city, gun in me and Mark. Killing this joy. Wicked bad man, no bad. I take me feel a toy. If you dash people that are real great, it's just a boy. Call up my name and my bed. In the gully when me sleep with the big mop then. Sleep on the cellar and all in a change. Run punch in line and jump people back friends. Fed that shit, they boy him family and him friend. We get the G a kid laughed in. You know? Yeah, that was true. But it's alright. And, and, but he went, I like the, you see, because he said, because that beginning bit is Beanie Man. Yeah, so yeah. with them, then we'll bite off yeah. people's style. 
Yeah, yeah. And everybody was doing it. Yeah, that's, of course. That's no, yeah, yeah. What I rate with him mm. is that he realized that, you know what? I'm probably shit, so let me go and do this. No, I always let me, say I was let shit. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me be a producer. Because you're, 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 you're reigning in every other field except for that DJ. But listen, what I'm so saying. So it wasn't for you, brother. No, but listen, what I'm saying. To be honest, when, when I start going to studios and looking around, I'm here up on the Dana Van Germain, Zion Robbie, the Patrick Roberts, the Dave Kelly. I say, yo, them people look more prosperous than King Jammings, them. Yo, I say, artists were hit. Yeah. I was on top. Bro, I was dog. Yeah, look hungry. Yeah, so then them man, they make so much hits and I look like this. Perfect. And yeah, then I realised that. But even in UK. Yeah, no, so whatever. Cause, cause, so cause now, no, see that's, that, that's messed up, Junior. I've got you, I've got I've been flowers all night. But you went to the studio, you sound, you said blood clot, alright then. Then run you out of the studio, cause that's what happened. And no, then, no, but no, 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 wait, so I'm gonna tell you what happened. Yeah. I was there. Oh, okay. Mentally. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, can, I can feel it. So you went there, there's a DJ me out, and then you done that same lyrics, and then send you for God, get a box juice. <laughs> and when you come back, and what did you do? The studio was locked. I said, no, when you first got a studio, I said, no. But when you came out, the studio was locked. No, man, no. But no, why is it? You said, you were always smooth. Sign the business. You said, you were always smooth. So when you see. You had a problem at the gate. No, but you're not. That's, 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 that's why you can't be a DJ, because you're too smooth, because you went in there. There was a talk up now. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not sure that thing, man, to be honest, yeah? <laughs> Two things I realized. Thing not every best? artist. Why are you going to run a show and then. Not and everybody going to have longevity. Yeah, of course. See, that's bit, how I'm going to realize. <laughs> and the people with longevity can get broke and rich again or yeah. sustain them thing. But the man that will have the short span career, some of them wish they would have a trade. How could I get a job? Yeah. And some of them get the realization that, like, boy, I'm going to wake up and. No, so boy, you know, so need for the summer with my life. And I've been there where I see people up until this day trying to be a gun Yeah, waiting for Never the break. And I'm gonna get old and still I look the break. So, what makes you go into so stop that now? So, long before that. So, after that, now you no, So, no, before that, listen to this now, brother. You see, one thing my mother is a woman who believes in education. Mm -hmm. See, so, you know, and she pushed it towards that. So, even though my life, street life, and all of them things there, she also teach me the importance of career. So, we work from Ministry of Labour to the bank, NCB, VM, and them things there. So, I wasn't the type of guy where, if this not right for me, my life done. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Me have options, and I use my options well. So, you know, thank God for that. You see me, I say, because the same man away, it's either this or I'm going to rap people. Yeah. And because I'm not really have the talent, but I'm doing a film us ways, I'm friend with the DJs them, and I'm doing a sound system that I'm going to come to you and I'm going to get double and I sell and sometimes I'm get humiliated too. Because yeah. I'm going to tell you. Brother, I'm going to get a last year, man, move from here, man. You understand? But if you want that place, so, yeah, nothing was broken. Enough you know? on that. You see me, I say, so I see that. You understand? But to be honest, as me, I say, um, I started loving the production side and being around like Banky introduced me to Rory, which is Sly's engineer, Sam Rob engineer. So we get a good insight of being around proper top quality producers and professionals who have unlimited studio time. Mm -hmm. So it's not like, like a man I come up two hours and I'm a rush. We are talking about people who have their own studio. We can make music from today till tomorrow for the whole week without you understand what I said? So then real I learned the art of music production for me for a concept, you know? From just having a concept to making it become I will see some stuff for them producer become big hits. We get introduced to people like Shaggy to the whole affiliation, the Beanham and the Bond to the Merciless. You know, the early assassin and name it, many more. But um as I was saying again, I realized that a producer won the masters mm -hmm. and that master is like a theme for life. Mm -hmm. So we can now re release and re-release and re-release and yeah. you know, licensing there's a licensing, there's on 
obviously them time the music business was even more dodgy. It was less yeah. transparent than now. So now people get wise. Me one never one ever one. understand the business until me start buy books and read. Mm. And I mean, I was doing that. Splits and yeah. yeah. I just want to hear their song on the radio. Yeah. So to be honest, most mm-hmm. not for the mm-hmm. artists, they them. I remember the first production I did. I want to say to Elephant Man, Elephant Man, give me your details. Oneil Bryant, and that's all. Him not tell me one publisher. Him not tell me not one. Mm. You understand? And it goes on. You know, over time they learn. You know, me see where people sell out them publishing. Mm. I don't know where they must sign for ten thousand US. Yeah. And then now when the time come and they realize, yo, I'm signed to a company and they want to administrate all of the thing them. But we don't own the publishing. Mm-hmm. So, so would you have been a produ- are you the kind of producer that gives the artists what they need and give them the education they need or are you one of the producers that sit in the artist them on some of them are dunce and just rob them? As my teller say, like he was one of the that produ- me what I, do. <laughs> I was one of the producers and never even know the business. The only one know say yo, we get yeah. a hot song and we are off the green sleeve. Yeah, somebody uh, call you. VP yeah, yeah. call me and take it and give you an advance mm-hmm. or wherever after when I know. It's yeah. long. I when I when I came to this country I started reading. Mm-hmm. A guy gave me about this business of music and when I started reading I realized this shit. And obviously the business evolved from them because you have streaming, mm-hmm. you have syncing and you have many other things. So many platforms for you to yeah. gain income from them think there are some new things so so even though the guys and with them old cattle